If you are watching this video, then there is a very good chance that you are thinking about adding some extra space to your home. The Guardian Home Extension System from Celluplast uses high-tech structurally insulated panels, which allows for far superior construction speeds over traditional building materials as well as delivering incredible energy efficiency. This video is, of course, about Celluplast's Guardian Home Extension, but more importantly, this is about Jackie's Home Extension. We've been thinking about having an extension to the house for several years now. More for family space. My family is getting bigger, so we need a breakout area, a chill out room. Center Pass have been brilliant. They have been very customer friendly. We had a great brainstorming session here with all the stakeholders in the project, and we discussed what needed to be done and what we wanted. And they explained everything from start to finish. And we're good to go now at this stage. So let's get started. Jackie's extension will attach here, out from the dining room at the back of the house. The groundwork team will mark the area to be excavated and lay down some materials to minimize disruption. The foundation to any good home extension is, well, a good foundation. Jackie has planned a large patio area to accompany her new room, so the groundwork team will clear and prepare the area, removing existing brickwork and topsoil before digging out the foundation of the new room. At this stage of the build, the Guardian Home Extension is much like any other kind of extension project. The groundwork team check and recheck the angles and depth regularly so they can make any necessary adjustments. They are also careful to note the presence of any existing drains or pipework. It will vary from job to job, but in addition to working with or around existing pipework, the team will have to use new materials to ensure that there are services in position to deal with the runoff from the gutters of the new room. Before the team starts to build the foundations back up, the project's civil engineer makes a quick inspection to make sure all is in order. Above ground building about to start in earnest, Eamon and Stephen from Celluplast arrive on the site to make sure that the team have everything they need to do the job. Working with the groundwork team, the builders get started on the block work to make the base plate, which the new room will be built upon. With the concrete level, the base plate is left to set. Meanwhile, back at Celluplast's HQ, preparations are being made for the next stage of the build, which is massively different from a conventional build. Against a conventional build in a way of time on site, your base is the very same as a conventional base, so it'll take the very same length of time, okay? So depending on the size, it can be one to two days, all the way up to three to four days. Obviously, you have to let the base go off and, and it's all weather permitting as well. It's when you get above base level that really our system comes into its own from a speed point of view. Uh, you're looking at two to three days for the walls, windows, doors and roof to be installed. A completion date for our system you're looking at within two, two to three weeks, okay, depending on the size. At a conventional extension, you'd be on site from five to ten, maybe twelve weeks. It's obviously a help as well to the homeowner because it allows us to bring the price down of the job from a labour point of view, the speed that it actually, actually does go up. While Ross manages the dry fit to ensure everything is as expected, Eamon meets with Jackie to make sure he is fully aware of her vision for the room. Where do you see all the different facilities around the room here? Well, we have two windows on the far wall over there, and then three equidistant from each other on this wall. And then we'll have a double doors and two glass panels going out into the patio. And we'll have two roof lights on the far side of the roof to maximize the light coming in. Together with that, we'll have two main lights coming down from the ceiling, so we can change the atmosphere of the room anytime we want. And from a heating point of view, I think we spoke about a, a rod on this wall here? That's right. We're having a tall vertical radiator going right there, and that should give us the heating requirements that we need. Plenty of heat. Okay. Plenty of heat, plenty of light. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Perfect. Let's go. Satisfied that everything is as it should be, Eamon puts a quick call back to HQ to let them know that they are ready to go. Like any traditional build, the foundation for this building is the very, very same. So it goes in with a concrete slab and rising walls, no different than any other extension that would go on in any other house. The only difference happens really when we get to the tech panels. 
Well, so far today, we've got our sole plate on, which is really the start of the construction after the slab goes in. Once we have our sole plate on, we can then put our bottom plate on, which receives our tech panels. Our tech panels then more or less Lego-like go around the building. Uh, so once we have them in and we have them sealed, we can then work on to our superstructure for our roof. The tech panels are at the heart of this build. So what are they? Tech panels manufactured by Kingspan are structurally insulated panels, or SIPs for short. Well, the SIPs panel is a, st a structurally insulated uh, timber panel. It's uh, two, two layers of timber with uh, insulation between it. With the SIPs panel, it's the speed and ease of construction, the cleanliness and tightness of construction. So it's huge adaptability, huge ease of construction and a huge speed of construction. It's a material that's well suited, uh, well adaptable. What I would say is the manufacturing process is well tested, well tried and uh, the quality control uh, in the manufacturing process is very good. With the walls complete, the work will begin on the superstructure of the roof itself. Well, in order to perfectly, if you like, marry the walls with, with, a, with a roof, we use our garden roof system, which has been on the market for the last 14 years. It's a remarkable roof that fits and kits together in one day. That gives a 0.18 U value, which combined with the walls, which give 0.16 U value, uh, we've incredibly high performance room and, and far superior to any traditional build that's on the market today. It's almost six o'clock and starting to get dark as the last of the roof's superstructure is finished and the team cover the room for the night. First thing next morning, the team get straight back to work with the aim of having a fully sealed and closed room by the end of the day. Brian, the project's engineer, drops by to inspect the progress on the job. We spoke to him about the independent inspection procedure. Essentially, in any project that you look at, the first thing you do is you look at the, look at the foundation. You would normally expect to check at ground floor slab level. You'll definitely want to check at roof level to make sure that everything is tied up and stable before you start putting the roof on. You'll want to look at the interaction of an extension to the existing structure and how much structure of the original building is being interfered with and how that load transfer is taken care of. Then a stability check on the overall arrangement of the new structure to make sure it's adequately restrained and tied. Once the engineer signs off on the project so far, the team are able to carry on once again. At the end of the second day of above ground construction, the team fit the windows and doors and finish the roof. In just two days, the project has progressed from a concrete slab to a fully sealed room. That's only five days on site in total, bringing us from this to this. There are a number of things that happen from this point on to transform the extension from just extra square footage into Jackie's vision of a room. On the inside, the electricians will run wires to where Jackie would like her lights and the plumber will get the area for the radiator sorted out while the builders start working on the interior insulation elements and plasterboard finish. In the meantime, outside, the breather membrane and exterior panelling is applied to get the room fully insulated while the roof tiling is completed. You've probably noticed that there are a number of layers going onto the tech panels inside and out. Eamon explains. Although the tech panel is the nucleus of our system, it's a combination of products which gives us a U-value of 0.16, which is really, really incredible, which makes it far more high performance than the house itself, which really makes this an extension that you're really, really going to be happy with. From the inside out, we have our skim, which is attached onto our foil back plasterboard, which in turn is attached onto our battens, which is attached onto the tech panel. On the outside, we have our breather membrane, our battens, a cement fibre board, which is designed to take our high performance render, which is made sympathetically with regard to the house wall finish that exists at the moment. With all the interior and exterior plastering complete, the inside is ready to be painted. The outside is ready to be rendered to match the rest of the house and the paving slabs are ready to go down around the new extension. So how does Jackie feel it has gone so far? I'm feeling very good about it. It's, um, it's gone much quicker than we anticipated. Just about two weeks now and we're almost finished now. One more day to go and everything will be done. So very happy.
The exterior is just matching the house perfectly. It's blending in very well with the existing roof and the garage. So we're delighted that it's fitting in and doesn't look as if it's just added on. The lads have been fantastic. They've been very professional, come in, do their job. They've done it really well and really quickly. So I have no complaints whatsoever with the, the lads doing the work. The last of the render goes on. After just 10 days on site, we have gone from this to this to this. And with the interior and exterior plastered and rendered, Jackie is free to decorate her new room. We have seen a lot of insulation going into the walls and roof and we have heard a lot about U-values over the course of this build. Put simply, U-value measures heat loss through materials, so the lower your U-value, the better insulated your home is. These days, energy efficiency is massively important to homeowners and is taken into consideration from the earliest design stages. The U-value element of this product is, is phenomenal actually because there's no other extension system that can meet the U-values that this extension will meet. The finished room will actually have a U-value of 0.16. They will obviously save on their heating bills. Uh, it will allow them to open up their kitchen to their extension or their dining room to their extension that they won't have to have party doors between the two rooms. You also won't have to uh, maybe put a boiler in place or insulate somewhere else in the house to try and make up for the poor quality of maybe extension that was put on. Okay, ours will already meet and beat the U-values that are needed from a building control point of view. So by delivering a U-value of 0.16, the room is considered very high performance. Just look at the difference here on a frosty morning. You can see the heat loss through the roof of the main house has melted away the frost, while the new extension remains covered as it is keeping all of its heat inside. Achieving such a low U-value with traditional materials would require a lengthy and far more costly construction cycle. So, it's fast and it's energy efficient, but is it expensive? How do the costs compare with traditional builds? Price is very important to the customer. As you know, everything is price sensitive at the moment. Uh, now the first questions we're asked on a first site visit would be, how much is this going to cost? We've developed software now that allows us at consultation stage to actually price the job there and then. Well, I'm really big into market research and checking out what's available on the market. And we checked out four vendors uh, together with quotes and specifications. And we finally narrowed it down to Sellerplas, who was at the low end of the cost spectrum, but also they had much higher specs for what I was getting for my money. So we finally um, chose Sellerplas to go ahead with the project. Now that it has been painted, tiled and furnished, the room is finished. The engineer returns for a final checkup to sign off while Eamon catches up with Jackie to make sure she is happy with her new room. The groundworks uh, on the exterior of the building have been finished. Uh, the inside has been completely furnished. Uh, she's now received her qualified engineer's report and we'd like to take this opportunity to wish her many years of happiness for herself and her family in our new space. At the heart of the Guardian Home extension is the Kingspan tech panel we saw earlier. So Jim from Kingspan dropped by to have a look at the build. I'm very impressed with the three week turnaround in time which is fantastic for any construction. I personally went through some of this before, about 10 years ago, and it's a similar extension to what I did 10 years ago, and I was, had builders on site for four months. So, uh, very impressed, the workmanship is excellent. Kingspan are delighted to be partnering with Cellioplast on the Guardian Home Extensions. The core principles of the two companies are very much aligned, and Kingspan are looking forward to working with Cellioplast long into the future. So, is Jackie happy with her new room? Everything has come together and uh, we're delighted with it and it's now we can relax and enjoy the room and uh, everything is, is, is great. So it's, um, and it's turned out much better than I expected. Uh, the most surprising feature is that it's made the house warmer. Um, our dining room is much warmer than it used to be and as, as a consequence the kitchen is much warmer. So the whole thing is not cold and uh, you can just chill out and relax in. Completely recommend it. I would absolutely recommend uh, a build like this. It's quick, it's efficient, and I think um, everyone would be delighted with having this attached to the house. So there you have it. The Guardian Home Extension is high tech, energy efficient, and goes on super fast. Cellulast has a nationwide network of approved installers. So if you would like to arrange for a free of charge consultation and quotation, call. 018326210 or email info at cellulast.com